This is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make one of these Riptide style chats. This one I've done, I did in two different colors. This is a solid, oh, two different colors for this one too, but only on the, the band. For this tutorial, you're going to need two different um, color yarn, or you can just do the whole hat in one uh, skein. So it's up to you. I just prefer to have a darker band on my hats. In this one, uh, I used two different skeins to just alternate. And what you're going to need in the way of a hook, you're going to need two different sizes. One uh, is a five millimeter or a size H hook, or M, and a six millimeter hook or a size I hook. Also, you're going to need a tapestry needle because you're going to need to sew in the top of your hat. So, get those items and let's get started. Okay, to begin, you want to start by using your 5mm hook or H hook. And you want to chain 66. And this size will fit uh, an adult female or adult male. Um, you can adjust the size by adjusting it by an even number. So whatever you decide, whoever you're making it for, just make sure you end on an even number. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna make uh, a small little swatch, but go ahead and you chain 66. And then when you're ready, you wanna slip stitch into the first stitch. to form a ring. And then you want to chain two. And this will count as your first stitch. So working in the next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And I'm going under two out of the three stitches. Each, each chain has, you know, one, two, and three. I'm going through both, not just one, but both of the loops. So continue to double crochet all the way around your chain. So continue to do that and I will see you back in a moment. Okay, I've just come to the end of round one and you want to slip stitch in the top of the beginning chain two to end the round. Then again you want to chain two. Now for round two, we're going to be alternating with front post double crochet and then back post double crochet. You want to start with a front post double crochet because this chain at the end of the row will become a back post and you'll see as you go along. So you want to start with a front post double crochet and how you do that is you yarn over, you go and you grab the post and then you double crochet using the post. Then yarn over and to do a back post, you wanna go in through the, the back, push that double crochet back and double crochet on the post. Again, when you wanna do a front post, pull forward and do a double crochet. And then the back post, Go in between the stitches, push that post back, and do a double crochet on the post. You're going to be alternating front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. Continue this all the way around. And I will see you when you get back up to the beginning. Okay, when you get to the end of round two, again, you're going to want to slip stitch in that beginning the top of the beginning chain two and then chain two again and you're going to be repeating exactly what you did for round two for round three which is the very first stitch is going to be a front post double crochet and the second will be a back post double crochet so you're basically doing a front post double crochet in all the places that you did last round and a back post double crochet in all the places that you did last round. So 
So I've come to the end of round two. And again, to end the round, you want to slip stitch in the top of the chain two. Oops, I'm trying to go under two. And then you want to chain two. Now to start round three, you're going to repeat the exact same thing you did for round two. You're going to be putting a front post double crochet where you did a front post double crochet last round and a back post double crochet in the places that you did a back post double crochet last round. So we started with a front post double crochet last round. So we're going to continue by doing a front post double crochet this round. Then the next stitch be a back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. And you are going to be repeating what you did for round two again for round three. And on your on your rim here, you can see the very first row was row one. And then you can see here the connection to the next post that's round two. And then of course we're starting round three, which is connected to the next post. So that's how you can count how many rows you have. One, two, and three. You want to have a total of eight rows. So you're going to be repeating round two until you have a total of eight rows. And this, let me show you. You can see it on this one better because it's variegated. This is the band. So you start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have a total of eight rows of this front post, then back post, front post, back post. So when you've gotten all eight rounds done, then I will show you how to begin the next section of your hat. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I just went ahead and I finished uh, my round three. But you go ahead and do your total of eight rounds for the rim of the hat. And then you're ready to uh, change colors and hook sizes. When you're ready to do the main part of the hat, you want to change from your five millimeter hook over to your six millimeter hook or size eye hook. So I'm just going to slip that into my loop instead. And if I uh, was actually making the hat, I would have I would cut my yarn here because I would be done with this color. But since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grab my next color and I'm just going to pull it through my loop and then tighten by pulling the string, the yarn. And now I'm working with this new color. And you want to start off by chaining two. Now for this round, all you want to do is do one single, I mean one double crochet, sorry, in each stitch around. So very easy round here. And since you're supposed to have eight rounds of your rim, this is round nine. So round nine, just put one double crochet in each stitch around. And when you've got that done, I will see you back here for round 10. Okay, when you get to the end of round 10, I'm going to slip stitch uh, using the post of the chain two. So I'm just going to go not into the stitch, just like in between these stitches and slip stitch to end the round. Then chain two. Now for round 10, you're going to be doing all back post double crochets. So you're going to be doing what you did here, except you won't be alternating. You'll just be doing back post. So you go in and you push that post back and you do a double crochet. And again, push that back, do a double crochet. Only doing back post double crochets for the round, for round 10. And you can see how this ridge is starting to form. So you want to continue to do back post to get back up here to the beginning and I'll show you what to do next. 
Okay, I just got done with round 10. Again, I'm always ending the round by not going into the stitch of the chain two. I'm just going slip stitching onto the post of the chain two. You will have a ridge. Um, let's see, probably easier to show you on this one. You have kind of this uh, ridge going down the center, but this is the clear back of the hat. And since it's a slouch hat, you're not really gonna see it because it's gonna be folded you know, while you wear it. So you won't really notice it. And the coloration here is, these are the two rounds that we just did. The first one was the double crochet all the way around. And then the next one is back post uh, all the way around. And you'll be repeating those two rounds over and over again. So the next round, round 11, will be double crochet in each stitch. So you ended your round as normal here. Got my swatch so I still have my yarn connected here. So when you've gotten done with, uh, see that would be 9, 10. So for round 11, of course, you'll start again exactly by chaining two and putting one double crochet in each of your stitches around just like you did for round nine. And then at the end of uh, this row, of course, you'll slip stitch back into here again. And then you repeat the round 10, which is just doing a back, a uh, back post double crochet around all of them. You'll just be repeating those two rounds over and over and over again. This uh, hat, I alternated the colors. And what I did is for the first round, when you start your hat and you change to your six millimeter, the first round I did double crochets in this lighter color. Then I went ahead and I switched to my darker color and did my back post double crochet row. And then I did my next row of double crochets with the same dark color. Then I switched to my lighter color and did my back post double crochet row. And then I did a row of double crochets with it. And I just kept alternating every two rows. Um, once you get this first one done, this is the only one you actually only have one color. The rest you'll be doing two rows before you switch, if you want to do it like this, which I really like this hat. Um, and this one was done all in variegated colors, you can see. And, uh, and it also has a really nice effect look to it. And this one's even easier because you don't have to switch every row. You just do a double crochet row and then a back post double crochet row. Then double crochet row and a back post double crochet row. It's really easy. And it also has a really nice texture that you can see, especially if it's in a lighter color like this. So feel free to color it however you like, however you come up with. And you're going to be repeating those two rows over and over and over again um, until you get to round 20. So you started your very first round of your hat. You had eight rows. And then the first round of double crochets is round nine and then 10. So each row here, each uh, rim that you see here is two uh, rows. So this is nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13 and 14, 15 and 16, rounds 17 and 18, then rounds 19 and 20. So when you get to the end of round 20, then we're going to be starting uh, our reducing. So continue that until you get to the very end of round 20. And then I will show you how to close up your hat. So when you're ready, the first round of reducing, round 21, is you want to begin. Let me get a little closer for you. You want to begin as all your rounds and do a chain two. And then you want to do a double crochet decrease. And how I do that is I just yarn over and I go in through one stitch and pull up a loop. Then I go right into the next stitch and pull up a loop. 
then I'll yarn over and I'm pulling through three loops then yarn over and pull through one and then the next stitch will be a double crochet and then you'll repeat that for the round you'll do a double crochet decrease and then you'll do a double crochet then you'll do a double crochet decrease and then you'll do a double crochet so continue that all the way around and when you get back up here to the beginning I'll show you what to do next okay when you get to the last stitch of the round if you have another stitch here um, just do a double crochet in it if you find you have an extra stitch at the end of the round um, when you get to the end we're going to end it just like you usually do by slip stitching on that chain two post and chain two now for this round you're going to do like you did here to make the ridges you're going to be doing a front post I mean a back post double crochet so that was round 21 so for round 22 you're going to just be doing a back post double crochet in each stitch around so continue to do that for round 22 and I'll see you back here in a moment okay I just got done with round 22 slip stitching on the post of the chain 2 then for round 23 you want to chain 2 and for this round you'll be doing a double crochet decrease in each stitch around so you're just going to go in and do like you did before only this time instead of doing a double crochet next you're just going to go right in and do another decrease so you're just going to keep double crochet decreasing all the way around when you get to the end of round 23 then I'll show you how to do round 24 and then 24 will be the last round okay again if you get to the end of the round and you only have one stitch left just do a double crochet in it and then you slip stitch onto the post of the chain two now for the last round you want to chain two and you'll be doing a back post double crochet in each stitch around so this is your last round and you're just going to be doing what you've been doing already but this time it's going to go much quicker because we don't have a lot of stitches left So just keep on doing your back post double crochets try to do it quickly here because it's good I do it on camera it's such a short round I'm getting to the end here a few more st stitches you're also with this round even though you're doing one stitch in each stitch you're not decreasing you still are decreasing because you're tightening up that space so it is getting smaller okay when you get to the end of the round you'll slip stitch actually this very last round I'm going to go into the actual top of the chain two and slip stitch in there then chain one and you want to cut your yarn leaving yourself 
a decent sized tail to use to sew in the top of the hat. So you want to turn your hat, grab your string, pull it through, and turn your hat inside out. You want to do your sewing on the inside of the hat, not, not on the outside. So here's my tail. And get your tapestry needle. And you're going to be weaving through the top of these stitches. And just be careful because you have this line right underneath it. So just make sure you're being careful and you're just getting the stitches of this last round. Don't accidentally go through the other round behind it. Even if you just want to push this back just to keep those stitches sticking up. The stitches are fairly large so it should be pretty easy if you concentrate to not get that other round. Do a few stitches and then pull your yarn through. So I grab up a few stitches and I pull my yarn through. You're making a pulley that's going to grab all of your stitches. Okay. Now when you get back up to the beginning, you will pull to close this hole up at the top. We'll just pull to tighten that. And then I take my tapestry needle and I go through one side of the hole and to the other side of the hole. And I pull it so I have a, a bit of a loop here and I'll stick my needle through the loop and pull it to create a knot. I'll do that again. One side of this hole to the other. So I have a loop. Put my hook through the loop and pull. Then I'll do it one more time. But this time I'm going to leave my loop there like that and I'm going to use it, grab my loop like this, to tie a couple of knots just to make sure that thing isn't going to go loose. Then I like to get my the loop here that we have. I just twist it. Just twist it. Have my little loop at the end. And then I'll feed it down my stitches of my hat just a little ways and pull it through. Tug it a little and then cut your yarn. And then you can turn your hat inside out again. And there you go. Hope that yours came out really nice. And I want to show you this one too, how it looks from this end. I don't know if I showed you that before. I really like this one. Um, so there's different ways that you can color it. You can mess around with the different, uh, different ways of coloring it if you like. And, but you can do one whole hat with one skein of yarn so no worries there so that's it that's the tutorial to show you how to make the riptide saw chat I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to click like and please don't forget to share this video and if you're not a subscriber yet please don't forget to subscribe thanks so much for watching